Hello and welcome once again to my channel. My name is Oge and I'm reaching from Abuja, Nigeria. In today's video, I want to share with you one of the ways I try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And like I've said before, it's one of the ways to maintain a healthy lifestyle is to always have healthy stuff around you. So I'm washing all of these oranges. This is one basket of orange and I'm also washing um, my spring onions. Uh, my spring onions I use for to complement my onions. Some of the times to use for my eggs. I use it for stews. I use it for in place of onions if I run out of onions. So, but in this case, I'm just I also use it for vegetables for making porridge. And I don't have any ugu or any of those leaves. I can use my spring onions, and it's really really nice. So I'm soaking my on, um, orange in water with baking soda to help get rid of the chemicals sprays and all that that has been from the market and i'm going to let this sit for a while while i also soak in fact i'm basically soaking everything to make sure that i have something um it helps get rid of all that chemical and i can start on a clean slate so if you're new on this channel you're welcome if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for your love and support don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and loved ones and then drop your comments below if you have any questions feel free to ask me i always use cucumbers for my um not so coleslaw like coleslaw is a combination of cabbage and carrots but i always add cucumbers another way i use cucumber is to just as a snack with my onion and um, granite yes and i made a video on carrots how i prep it but because of the light situation in nigeria it's always better to leave it dry if you leave it dry it lasts longer but if you wash it it makes it soak um get soggy quicker and then i'm not gonna wash my cabbage and the regular green cabbage and the other purple cabbage yes as long as water doesn't get to this it is nice and dry it can last you for up to two weeks or more in the refrigerator my avocado pear is ripe otherwise i would have left it on the counter to dry but since it's ripe i wash and put in my fridge until i'm ready to use so my orange is all soaked in baking soda. I also have my green bell peppers that I'm washing. And it's been soaking and this is just for me washing. Sorry about the vibration of the camera. I didn't realize that it was vibrating. So yes, I'm rinsing on running water. I mean under running water. And I'm going to also scrub. If you have a clean sponge, you can use to scrub these vegetables. Yes, but if I soak it for long enough, I don't necessarily need a sponge to wash as long as I've... Um, I scrub with my hands and that's 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 good to go. By the way, these vegetables are expected to last for another one week because that's how we do it here. Um vegetables vary depending on the budget, depending on what we find, and this is how we are doing for this week. So I'm going to be cutting this up and freezing just so that it is easy for me when I use it. I have a 9 to 5 job so it's not always doing, it's not always easy having to chop all these vegetables and everything during the week. Yeah, even though I, I cut my cabbage and carrots every day that I have to eat rice or something that requires vegetables. Yes, so this now I'm going to let drain for a while after which I'm going to bag it in my Ziploc bag and then freeze. This is how I'm going to freeze it. And then that's it. Remember, I put a paper towel underneath the plate where I put my carrot. And that's so that the paper towel can absorb the excess moisture. You can always cover it up with another paper towel and then cover with the lid. So that that paper towel traps the moisture at the top of the lid or below the lid. So I'm just toward drying all of this because I can't wait for it to drain on it too and then i'm going to be putting in the refrigerator remember guys that your health starts with what you, you have in your refrigerator or what you have around you if you don't have vegetable or um, healthy stuff around you you'll be tempted to eat the things that are not good for you so i hope this video motivates you to adopt a healthy lifestyle and then incorporate that into your into your lifestyle remember that also that healthy living is something you have to be intentional about i hope this helps see you guys in another video until then stay safe bye bye